Right, back at the van. Clean trousers on, clean and dry. The other ones are absolutely caked up, so it's had to get changed. Got washed up a bit. Uh, time for a brew, I think. Ready for a coffee. Yes. Oh. Oh, the coffee. Where did I put my spoon? There. Okay. I'm going to have a, a cuppa and have five minutes here. And then uh, once I'm done, I'm going to make my way up to, uh, up to Blue John Caverns. Get parked up there very fortnight then. I can't see any signs that say no parking here, but I'm not going to risk it. I'll have a coffee, have five, maybe have a, a quick bite of something to eat, and then make my way over there. One of the challenges about being in a van this small is obviously there's no room so everything you do you're forever tidying up so you make a cup of coffee you have to put everything away get rid of everything before you can do something else you can't be leaving stuff about because there just isn't the room to accomplish it so it's uh, it's perfectly manageable you just got to get yourself in that mindset of uh, right, let's get everything put away, ready for the next job. So, right, I'll get this coffee made and I'll uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, bit ready to move on. So now it's time to clean everything up a bit and put things away. Obviously, I can't drive with the kettle up there we just end up on the floor with water everywhere There we go, that's everything away. Right, just got parked up at the Blue John where I normally park when I come to Peaks. Just parked up there, just fired diesel heater up. There she goes, all fired up. Oh, right, some lights on. That's me all parked up for day. Just gonna 
just had some painkillers. Let's see how, oh, how my shoulder goes. Uh, what time is it? Right, uh, we get set up, make a bit of dinner, get a kettle on, have another cuppa, and then get settled down for afternoon. Right, I'm going to make some, a uh, couple of cheese and ham toasted, I think. So, for that, we want the Ridge Monkey. Now these, for anybody who hasn't got one or seen one, where the hell you been for a starters? And these are absolutely brilliant things. It comes with a few utensils that you might need. And on the other side, are your two handles. So, put your handles in. And basically what you've got is a double-sided pan. You can flip it over and use it like that, which is ideal for toasties, because you just do one side, flip it over, do the other side, and just keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't burn. That's cool enough to put down there out the way. Pop that on there. Got that ready. Right, so grab some bread. Right, I've got some cheese, I've got some ham, I've got some bread. Keep all my knives, forks, everything all in here. So, I've got a carving knife, uh, I want a knife for buttering, get some butter on there. So, a couple of slices of the bread. Like I said, once you've used something, put it away, out the way, put the bread back. If you're not continually putting stuff away, you end up with stuff piled up and then you can't move. Uh, butter. Now then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these in half and measure them in the pan to make sure they fit first so I'm hoping one two yep look at that right a little bit softer than I thought it was going to be Right, pop that there. What I'm going to do when when I do these, I butter both sides of the bread. But I'm just going to make it make the the sandwiches up first, and then butter them, and put them straight in. So I'll move that over there. Put some cheese out. Put some cheese. I'm going to need so I'm away, out the way. Brought a bit of cold slaw out as well to have with it. Right. So what I do is I butter the outside as well when I'm doing these. Helps cook it. Uh, 
that and then whack it in the pan. Does help that the butter's melted with having the diesel heater on. I'm not fighting with it. Put the fan on, close the pan down, and we'll. this on a steady heat bit of cheese for chef grab a plate so we've got that ready you already hear them start to sizzle inside Right, and next what I will do is get my pop-up bowl out ready. Start putting some of the pots in there out of the way. That's all ready and then once I've got this cooked I can then get the kettle on, get it, uh, get it boiled up, get some hot water to wash the pots with. That's after I've eaten eating my tea so need a fork pick up knife back I'm gonna need that I think just flip it over like that have a quick look oh look at that going nicely just turn it down some more so it get it nice and hot in there as you can see it toasts off quite nicely and they don't take long have a quick look at how we're doing on the other side oh no, it's a little bit longer on there few minutes coast are open and ready all right so I've turned the gas off I'm just going to leave it in the pan while it's warm help it melt the cheese through I think that should do us. Put that down, let it cool off. Bit to cold slow with that. And there we are cheese and ham toasties with a bit of coleslaw right I'm gonna eat this and then I'll fetch you back and show you how I get the pots washed and everything and how we managed to do that right well they were delicious so now it's time to clean the mess up so I'll pour this on the floor wait a minute fill the kettle up Oh, this is a lot easier when it's not raining because I normally do it outside. Of course, it's absolutely binning it down, so I ain't doing it out there. Right, pop the pan down there.
wash it up liquid in there. Bit of cold water. You don't need a lot of water to wash these pots up in. And obviously you can see the size of the sink. We're never going to wash these pots in there. The sinks here basically rinse my cup out, brush my teeth, that sort of thing. Uh, not for doing the pots. So what I'll do I'll just wait while this kettle boils and then I'll fetch you back and show you how we get the pots done. Right, you can see it's just one at a time. Now, these pans come into two. <coughs> so we can wash one each side separately. Yeah, put the pan back together, put it in its, back in its little pouch, you think? I say it's just a matter of one at a time because doing it like this, I've got nowhere to put them once I've washed them, so it's a wash and dry. And normally what I do, if it's sunny and the weather's nice outside, then I'd do this, I'd be stood out there. I'd either have the, have the bowl in here or have the bowl outside on the floor. At least breakfast in the morning only involves boiling the kettle do a pot of porridge and the pot goes straight in the bin so that's a nice quick easy one and lastly the plate And then it's just a matter of emptying the bowl out, putting all the pots away, and then we'll get the kettle back on for a cuppa and settle down with the film. Right, I've got a flask with the towel on now in front of the diesel eater. That's drying that out. So that's all ready for morning now. Uh, cuppa made, everything put away and sorted, and that's how we do uh, a meal and clean up you can see it's getting quite dark out there now so it's time to settle down for the evening and uh, wait while we need to get the bed ready oh, right morning everyone annoyingly uh, I filmed setting the bed up and everything last night and putting it all away this morning and how I make my breakfast and the camera's corrupted it so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna run through it again just to give you a, an idea of how I get the bed set up and everything like that what I'll do I'll set a time-lapse going uh, and then you can see how I get the bed set up and get ready for bed on a night and then uh, the struggle of putting it away in the morning getting the sleeping bag wrapped up because obviously I can't keep it out because uh, it's going to be in the way because this is the only seat I've got so I can say it's the same thing everything has to go away everything has to be pulled out uh, it's a constant cycle so 
Right, I'll set a time lapse going and then you can see what we do on the bed. Right, as you can see, that's the bed all done up. So, <clears throat> once we've got all that done, I just close the curtain and uh, climb into bed, get undressed, climbing into bed, and uh, that's it, all snuggled up for the night. Uh, now, things like getting undressed, same again, I haven't got uh, the headroom, so that's a challenge as well. Getting the top half off is no problem, because obviously it's just straight over your head but getting things like your trousers off and things like that it's a case of uh, laying down and obviously getting undressed like that and sliding things down and oh, when i can get up sitting up and then getting them off the uh, off the bottom half and reverse all getting dressed again so you basically get your trousers so far on as far up as you can and then it's a matter of laying down and lifting your bum up and shuffling round uh, but it's all doable that's the thing and with a little van like this you can basically go wherever you want you can park where you want you don't get any funny looks it's not like a big motor home and what have you and for one person it's ideal uh, don't get me wrong it's no good for two we never fit two people in here uh not with the not with the best will in the world but for one person who just likes to get out and about and not pay a fortune on uh, bed and breakfast hotels that sort of thing this is ideal and like i say it, it does me i've got everything i need i've got my toilet got all the cooking uh stuff all my pots and pans i've got all my food spare clothes uh the leisure batteries in here uh, i've got plenty of space for storage and what have you and what more do you need so right i will do another time lapse on putting the bed away so you can see what uh, what that's all about and then uh, i'll uh, i'll run you through uh, what's the next one oh, i'll show you uh, i'm not going to use the toilet but i'll show you how uh, I managed to use the toilet in here uh, and then I think you've had a, a, quite a, a reasonable sort of overview of some of the difficulties that you can get in uh, in one of these little micro campers so right I'll leave you for now I'll fetch you back in a minute Right, that's the bed all back together and everything back to normal. Uh, as you can see, it's just, like I said, just a matter of, unfortunately, not being able to leave the bed out. Uh, otherwise, can't use the side door. Uh, if the van had been longer, then what I might have done is put the bed on the other side because uh, it, it would have been full length. Uh, but uh, on that side I wouldn't have had enough room to lay down flat so as it happens on this side I've had to make the bed uh, foldable so it stacks away now different vans different layouts all have their own little quirks and their own little scenarios I said this is how mine works it works well for me and I really do enjoy getting out and about in it uh what else we got right oh yes i'll uh, i'll sort out and show you how the uh, how the toilet bit works because that seems to fascinate everybody in here how do you go to the loo uh, it's quite simple but i shall show you right. so that's where i keep the toilet 
which is down there so all I do when I need the toilet is literally slide it out it is a lot easier with two hands by the way I just slide it out over to the sliding door so it's positioned there and And it's quite simply a matter of over you go and on the toilet. So height wise, I say it's a bit of an issue. You are crouched over, but it's all doable in an emergency. And that's basically the only time I use it is emergencies. So it's all there and workable. And then once you've done, she just slides back away and empty it like you would any normal toilet at a suitable place same again uh getting your trousers up and down it's a bit of a dance laying down trying to get them sorted out and what have you uh but we do have the curtain here so basically it's once you before you get on the toilet obviously pull the curtain across uh for your privacy and then once you've done just put it back toilet back under there and job done all sorted so well, i hope that's uh sort of give you a, a decent overview of what happens in uh in a micro camper uh well not in a micro camper in this micro camper uh like i say all other ca campers are different different layouts different scenarios uh but yes, that's that's how I use the camper and how I get round things. So I hope you've all enjoyed it and uh, found it useful. Anybody thinking of going into a micro camper, I hope it's been of some use to you. Uh, so, right, we'll leave it there for now and I will catch you on the next one. Uh, if you've enjoyed that, if it's been useful to you, uh, if you've picked up any little tips or anything, do give us a like and subscribe and share it along with anybody who you might think would be interested. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll catch you later.